If you like and appreciate uh, free markets and uh, you know voluntarism and people being in charge of their own money and their own lives. Uh Hi everyone, another uh, fun little special update today. So uh, I want to talk about the Foundation for Economic Education, a fantastic uh, organization that I've been aware of since I was maybe 15 or 16 years old. Somehow I wound up with a subscription to their physical newsletter called The Freeman. If we scroll down to the very bottom, uh, we can see here they have their Freeman archives that have all sorts of wonderful articles, I'm sure, that were in these like physical, you know, it's kind of back before the internet, people had subscriptions to physical magazines or newsletters and it was something like that. And they would send these to me and we can see the, you know, issue archives and maybe we can see uh, something from back from, you know, 2016, previous year, browse by year, right? So I was getting this way back in like the mid 90s. So maybe, you know, 1996, let's take a look. And I, you know, Doug Bandeau and a bunch of these guys were writing articles here. And uh, so, you know, there's uh, all these great, things. And so, I don't know, I haven't looked at these for, for years, but here's the sort of articles that are in here, right? The Vatican and the free market, a good conversation in the marketplace, cutting marginal tax rates, the flat tax simplicity de demystified, government's hostile takeover, right? So uh, anyhow, I really, uh, this, this Freeman uh, newsletter really had a big impact on me. And basically the Foundation for Economic Education is just like what, uh, what the name implies. It's educating people on the top of e economics and specifically how free markets make everybody better off. And so I attributed a big part of my being able to understand and appreciate the importance of Bitcoin earlier than most people to the things that I learned from the Foundation for Economic Education. So way back in 2013, long before most of the Bitcoin maximalists and the people on crypto Twitter had ever even heard of Bitcoin, uh, back in the year 2013, I donated over $1.1 million worth of Bitcoin to the Foundation for Economic Ed Education. Uh, and I was proud and glad to do that because it was their platform that uh, helped me understand uh, the importance of free markets and the importance of Bitcoin so early on. And so earlier today, somebody pointed out on uh, our BTC on Reddit that the Foundation for Economic Education, uh, they were only accepting BTC for donations for cryptocurrencies. They weren't accepting any other cryptocurrencies. So. Uh, I saw that and thought, well, that's uh, a problem. So Greg Maxwell has emailed me as I make this this video. So he, he we must be over the target if he's really mad and emailing me multiple times today. I think that's the third email he sent me today, being angry. Uh, but maybe I'll make a whole other separate video about that stuff. So for those that don't know, Greg Maxwell is one of the people uh, that uh, basically is one of the top people that was responsible for having crippled Bitcoin and preventing it from being able to become money for the entire world. Before he was busy destroying and disrupting Bitcoin, he was busy destroying and disrupting Wikipedia. Wikipedia literally had to ban him uh, from the site because he was, they called him a vandal because he was there just, you know, disrupting so many different articles and going through, you know, edit wars and using all sorts of sock puppets and all sorts of crazy stuff to do that. So, and then he went on to become the CTO uh, and co-founder of Blockstream, a company that raised a hundred and something million dollars from uh, traditional financial companies that then successfully succeeded in crippling Bitcoin's ability to be used as money and then delaying and stalling and delaying and stalling more and more and more until finally Blockstream just recently came out with their liquid Bitcoin sidechain, a custodial solution that they're trying to market that to the world now and telling people that they should use that instead of uh, using Bitcoin on chain, which could have just been able to scale for the entire world if they hadn't intentionally broken it. But that's a whole other story and a sidetrack. And I'm sure the Foundation for Economic Education is something that uh, a socialist like Greg Maxwell just uh, hates. Uh, so anyhow, I love the Foundation for Economic Education. That's why I donated $1.1 million to them previously. I'll probably make another pretty substantial Bitcoin cash donation here shortly uh, to them. I sent them an email earlier today saying, hey, you guys, in fact, let me pull up the email here so I can show you guys exactly what I said. So I found there was an email, the contact thing on their page. I said, hey, Richard, or hi, Richard. I'm the person who donated over $1 million worth of Bitcoin to, found, to FEE back in 2013. And I gave them a link to their own website talking about the, the donation. And I said, today I noticed that on their donation page, they only offer Bitcoin donations as an option. Uh, the thing that everyone is calling Bitcoin today isn't the same version of the peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash that I donated to FEE back in 2013. Today, the tool that has the most promise bringing uh, more economic freedom to the world is Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin has become just a speculative instrument used by a bunch of censorship supporting statists hoping to get rich without, having to act without it having any underlying utility. 
I humbly request that Bitcoin Cash be given as prominent or a more prominent spot in the, Bitcoin, in the donation area uh, than Bitcoin. I also help, uh, I'll also help draw some more attention to FEE uh, via Bitcoin.com. I've been a FEE fan for about 25 years uh, when I was first given a subscription to the Freeman. Thank you so much. And then uh, Richard was nice enough to reply within a couple of hours. He goes, Dear Roger, love seeing your name in my inbox. I remember when you changed FEE's world with that donation, sending us on our path to massive online growth. Thank you once again. We have confirmed that our Coinbase wallet can accept Bitcoin Cash. Thank you for asking me to add the option, which is now online. Thank you, uh, for, thank you also for your offer to create visibility for FEE on Bitcoin.com. I would be remiss if I didn't ask you today to renew your commitment to support FEE. We are working from home like most others and pivoting, uh, to, pivoting to have our student programs entirely online for the remainder of the semester at least. We've also redoubled our efforts uh, in online video co and content. The world needs free market economics and individual liberty uh, more than ever during and after this crisis. And I would, be, uh, I would so appreciate your renewed help. Sincerely, Richard. And when reading that, I'm thinking I'm 41 years old now. Maybe it's about time for me to buy some glasses because I was having a little bit of a hard time reading the small font. But here we are over on the Foundation for Economic Education's website. And if we go and click on the donation button here, we'll see that, uh, of course, credit card is the main way there, but they have this other nice button right here that says other ways to give. And if you click on that, you'll see all the different other ways. You can donate stock to them. I don't know what a QCD is from your IRA is. Gifts and kinds, this and that. You can send them cash in the mail if you want to be clever. Uh, I guess they have their address here. You could go on local.bitcoin.com and then pay someone in Bitcoin Cash to send them cash in the mail if you really wanted to. Uh, but an easier way here is just click on this Bitcoin button right here. And if you click on the Bitcoin button, you'll see right here, here's their Bitcoin Cash address uh, and a QR code for it right there as well. And they're linking to Bitcoin for Beginners uh, Guide by Jeffrey Tucker, which is another fantastic guide. If you read it, it's pretty clearly talking about something like Bitcoin Cash. So I have my Bitcoin.com wallet right here. Um, I don't have, it's my cell phone wallet, so I don't walk around with a huge, huge amount of money on there. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit send and I'm gonna scan this right here on the page. And there we go, we got the Bitcoin Cash address that time. So I'm gonna send them, I'm gonna send them 500 US dollars worth of Bitcoin Cash right now and maybe I'll make a more significant donation later. But uh, if you like and appreciate uh, free markets and uh, you know voluntarism and people being in charge of their own money and their own lives, uh, the Foundation uh, for Economic Education is a great organization that you could uh, donate to as well, now in Bitcoin Cash as well. So uh, anyhow, just wanted to bring some attention to that. So thank you to everybody at the Foundation for Economic Education. If you're appreciative of them and their work, uh, I'm gonna send them another email after I stop recording this though too, and I'm gonna ask them, Maybe I'll make a bigger donation, but the, the string attached to that is I want them, rather than just converting it into fiat, I want them to do their best to spend the Bitcoin cash as Bitcoin cash to the next merchant that they're paying a, a bill to. So anyhow, there you have it. Uh, spread the good word about Bitcoin cash and the Foundation for Economic Education. Thank you all so much. Uh, see you next time.